Welcome guys, welcome, this is John and this is something new, oh yeah, I'm so excited, this is the, I hope, the golden era of Rome Total War Remastered, new mods are flourishing, new stuff has been created and uh, I'm really happy, yeah, I'm, I'm like a fanboy of Rome Total War, so, oh, I'm so excited, now that uh, many limitations are lifted, now you can have uh, infinite factions, infinite tr infinite units, um, different mechanics, yeah, I think, I hope, once more, I hope this is gonna be the golden age of Rome Total War, the second golden age, of course, and today I just want to chill out with you, uh, I just want to chill, playing, um, something in this this is one of those modes uh this is uh, total conquest version 2.0 uh it's been released um, i think it it has been one week maybe now uh i do want to play maybe let's go with the athens the birthplace of democracy okay um this is not gonna be a full campaign Unless you want to see me playing it all the way to the end, maybe choosing another faction. Today I just want to spend some time in, uh, in Athens and in Greece, looking at the new features, the new units, the new looks, um, the new scripts. I know there are uh, different scripts in Rome, in Carthage. Actually, I could... Oh no, these are to-do factions. I was thinking maybe playing um, Carthaginian faction, but they are, as you can see, yet to be done. So let's go with Athens. Why not? Once the epicenter of culture and philosophy, this ancient city has become a shadow of its former self. Those Macedonians took from us almost everything. Now, men of Athens gather around to decide our fate. Let's go. Let Athena, uh, Athena's wisdom guide us. Start. And I think this is the base game video. Oh, I'll, I think I'll skip it. This is not, as I've said, this is not a full campaign. So no reason to watch the, the entire video. Oh, nice beard, by the way. And yellow eyes as well. Oh, I love this music. Oh, it's good to be back. It's always good to be back. Okay, people in flight. Yeah, we have uh, horde mechanics as well in this game. They introduced um, new horde mechanics, new forming nations. Mm, there's a lot, a ton of stuff, of cool stuff. Now, uh, they, I think they, they did something with the layout, so I think I can expand this. Oh yes, I, I really like these bigger squared info panel i think it's much much better for us old guys <laughs> no 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 i'm just kidding yeah it's easy to keep track of your generals and such of your trait and all of those cool descriptions when you have a description this is not the day Trained Oplites and Citizens Oplites. Citizen ops, Oplites, I mean, poor morale. Okay, Athens itself. This is the usual stuff, I think. Nothing major. And then the usual trade. Oh, we are trading a lot here in Athens. Yeah, we have a port, so many different trading opportunities 1482 gold coins each turn but we are losing yeah we have a couple of armies we cannot afford them okay this is some of the new mechanics this is a core province and it's part of our nation and then we have a civilization Local government now firmly holds power in this province. Their population understands value and strength of cooperation. Region 
flourishes and the capital grows. So, mm, no bonus as far as I can see, but I think this means that maybe I can invest in proper infrastructure. Yeah, there's a lot here. Local recruitment laws. Yes, you have laws. Not very specific laws, but you have laws nonetheless. And since in real life I'm a lawyer, I can understand why sometimes you need no words. Of course, I'm joking. <laughs> and what else we have? Academy, this is nothing new. Mastering field. Barbarian master field for some reason. Okay, oh, of course, the, there is a lot to be done here. We can raise taxes. Yes, we, we can raise taxes. Oh, and this is really useful. Now you have less clicking to do. Yeah, you can raise taxes um, just by clicking in your uh, in your town, and then this is new as well. The look lock decisions. Removing this building will unlock additional decision in this settlement. This building will appear again next turn. Hmm. So. Why is it in the first place? I don't know, let's destroy it. It will give us... Uh, wait a moment, it will give us... One denarii. Nice. <laughs> now we are out of economical problems. Okay, so... Local laws... Different policies first evictions, wealth acquisition, abandoned settlement. Sometimes it might be a sound strategy to leave the area before the enemy gets here. Wow! Oh, wait a moment. This means that now you can abandon cities without waiting for them to revolt. Oh, this is just for empirical purposes, so let's just build it let's see what happens let's build it uh, I, I should lose the this campaign since I'm not a faction or the an or the faction I mean <laughs> sorry uh, yeah let's see yeah okay we are abandoning Athens oh this is such a cool feature and we, of course the game is lost yeah nice I like it these features this feature opens up so many good opportunities and strategic decisions in the game. Okay, back in the uh, campaign map. Corinth, there's a huge garrison here. The banner is filled. They have... Um, I cannot see the exact number, so it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, uh, 15, I think. Let's, let's gather an army and fight a battle, just a, nothing major, uh, just a small battle. Oh yeah, I don't care. Uh, we can attack straight, in, straight away, so let's grab our entire force. All of you, move. Alright, let's go. Attack. Uh, we are pretty even. Uh, of course, I'm not playing to win the, the campaign. I just want to see the, the different units, um, the um, morale bonuses and such. There we are. Okay. Hmm, the, the battle is, I think, a bit laggy. We shall see. Let's take a look at these nice units. Everyone, uh, let's select the infantry formation march forward take the city streets missile march forward no no reason to run no reason to run cav advance okay and then slow down all right these are the uh, contestai the um, skirmishers yeah skirmishers Altast or whatever you call them. 
Athenian infantry. Really, really cool. Uh, I don't like their their arms, but I think this is just a ported model from uh, the base, the the older Rome Total War, so it's not perfect. And our general, our Roman general, apparently, he looks really Roman. Ish. Okay, you charge the militia plates and you charge them as well. Oh, it's good to be back. It's always good to be back in Rome Total War. Charge them. Alright, the hoplites are fighting with a different uh, style. This is not the base game animation. Wow, they are broken already. <laughs> Brave hoplites. Okay, yeah, they are, they are wavering. Wow, their morale is crappy. Phalanx pipe. Now, of course, this is using the phalanx is using the correct phalanx formation. Wow, we destroyed the hoplites. Phalanx Spikeman trying to hold the street, but they are surrounded. Let's use some javelins as well. Oh, I think they. Oh no, they are just shaken. Let's see. Friendly fire in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, they are accurate. Mm. There's so much potential over here. Yeah. Imagine this place with custom layouts, new units, wow. I think a great future awaits us. Oh, our units are breaking in the meantime. That's fine. Let's see, who are you? Infantry! Oh, Athenian infantry and you? Trained up light. Alright guys. I think this is enough. Uh, this was just a basic tour, really, really basic. This was the first time uh, for me launching the game, um, the, the, the mod, the, the mod date, I mean. So there's a lot yet to discover. Oh yeah, I can't wait. There's a bright future ad. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Of course, let me know. Would you like me playing? faction maybe an entire campaign right now or should i wait for a more refined version let me know thank you very much guys as always see you next time bye bye